Oh wait, another kitty. Its name's gonna be Jack, isn't it? Oh no, Emma, that would have been funny. Hello and welcome to Plumeria Play. Today we are playing with cats and dogs and I wanna see if we can play with the vet career, but on starter funds. So we're gonna hop right into it. I have Teddy here. She is in her cats and dogs attire and we are gonna be moving her into this empty lot over here. So that is a 2,000 of our starter simoleons gone already. And it's raining, so that's lovely. Okay, so we're gonna head over to our owned business tab over here, and we are gonna buy a vet clinic. I'm gonna just be buying this lot right here that has the vet clinic that comes with the world of Brindleton Bay already on it, but we are gonna have to bulldoze it because we could never afford that lot. Earlier this week, I built a starter vet clinic that has a little apartment up top, and to be quite frank, it's a little bit shabby, but we only have 15,000 simoleons to work with here, so it's gonna be just about the only thing that's gonna work. So I'm gonna go grab that from my gallery now. This is our lot right here, so we're just gonna be placing that down, obviously furnished, and I'll give you a very, very quick tour of it. So it has everything that we need. We were not able to get in the medicine crafting table or the surgery station. I'm hoping as we make money, we can up those things. So on our very top floor, we have a small apartment unit. I did have to get into debug a little bit. So this is from the Eco Lifestyle debug. It's what you'd get if you went dumpster diving, but it was really cheap. So it's only like 25 simoleons. We have a small kitchenette and a fully functional bathroom. And then heading downstairs, right when you come in the front door right here, you have your check-in desk area. Some of this stuff is not necessary. These things don't actually do anything. Your guests are gonna check in here at this kiosk but I wanted it to look like an official check-in desk. Then we have a nice seating area right here and then a very, very small exam room. And then this room is open for when we can get our surgery station and whatnot one day. Originally, if you've watched that full video you've seen, I had it more extended. So this room can be a lot bigger and we can fit a lot more stuff in there. We just didn't have the funds to do it on starter. But I wanna try to play today as a vet with the funds that we have available. And honestly, her needs are fun. So I'm thinking let's just go ahead and open for business and just see how it goes. I haven't played with the vet career in forever. I'd like to change her outfit. I did get her a little vet outfit. So let's have her change into that since our clinic is open right now. And I guess now we just wait for people to come check in. Okay, so we have our first customer in now. Oh, okay, she's got a little cat. Let's start by greeting our patient. So the pop-up says, I've never seen Doc acting like this before. I hoped it would go away, but it's only gotten worse. Please see what you can do. So let's begin our examination. And she's uncomfortable by unpleasant surroundings. I have no idea what would be dirty though. I literally just built this. <laughs> And we just acquired the vet skill, so hopefully she can get this up pretty quickly. Doc seems to be staying pretty calm so far. I think that's what this bar is. Although, like I said, I haven't played with the vet in forever, so I don't really remember. Okay, so see, now he's starting to get uncomfortable, so we need to calm him. Let's calm pet. Okay, so he has swamp mouth, so we can do treatment. Although we don't have any money. Oh, no. Um, okay. I didn't think that through, did I? Okay, maybe that'll be enough. We have enough money now. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Treat him. There we go. Why? Is, what is so, got her so uncomfortable, I wonder? Oh, well, now there's stuff all over the place. Okay, so let's have her clean up. Okay, and we got paid 125 simoleons. So we basically made 100 because his treatment cost us 25. It's not a terrible start. Okay, I forgot to give Teddy different traits for this. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and cast and change those really quickly for her because otherwise this is gonna be a little miserable for her. Why don't we make her a cat lover and a dog lover and then maybe make her a genius to make getting the vet trait quicker? I think that'll work. We want her to be happy at this job. It's like we got somebody else coming now. We're gonna give Rosie a friendly introduction and then greet the patient and then we will get her up on our table. Teddy's needs are looking pretty solid so far, so that's good at least. Okay, so this one says, I've never seen Rosie acting like this before. I hope it would go away, but it's only getting worse. Please see what you can do. Do the pop-up say the same thing every time? Rosie's definitely looking like she's got some fleas. Oh, and we got level two veterinarian already. We have a diagnostic on this one as well. So we are gonna treat Rosie. I'm calming her first because I stressed her out apparently and I feel a little bad about that. 
And we cured the sickness. It's been 25 simoleons. Have we been paid? Okay, 125. Nice. And it seems to be just sending in one patient at a time, which is good, I guess. Wait, why is she up on the table again? You're done. Your exam is over. What happened? Um, I'm gonna just end the exam because I, I really think that was just a glitch. We got paid for that and everything. Is that that same lady? Oh, she has multiple cats. No, yeah, multiple cats. The first one's name was Doc or something. This is Josie. Is Josie blue because Josie's blue or is, is Josie like cold or something? <laughs> Josie out here looking like Rudolph. Okay, well this pop-up's a little bit different. Something's wrong with my little girl Josie. Won't you please help her? I'll take that. So let's begin Josie's exam. Okay, so Josie did have icy fur, so I guess she's not actually blue. <laughs> All right, and we have a diagnosis, so we will give her that treatment. And we reached level three vet skill, so it's like almost a skill level per pet. <laughs> All right, 125 for little Josie. And Josie's actually brown, so that's good to know. No, Josie, you're done. Your exam is over. Why does it do that? You've been treated, Josie. You can go home now. Is it Teddy? Okay, yeah, I reset Teddy and that made it stop. Anybody else? What are our needs looking like? She could stand to run to the bathroom. I'm gonna just have her run upstairs really quickly. Oh, and I need to lock this for everyone that's not Teddy. Lock for everyone but Teddy. Cause this is Teddy's house, basically. <laughs> Ready? We got a new pet. Oh, we got a big dog this time. Shashka? Shashka? I'm super sorry if I'm saying that wrong. If somebody knows how to say that, I apologize. I think Shashka is going to be our last patient. So I'm going to go ahead and disallow new customers. Teddy can run on down and take care of Shashka. Real <laughs> Sounds like I have a lisp. Shash Shashka? I don't hate the name. <laughs> I need to greet the patient and for whatever reason it's not letting me... I don't want to mess up my vet thing. Greet patient. Okay, Teddy's having some trouble today. All right, we figured out what Shashka had very quickly. So I guess maybe that's our vet skill upping. That's nice at least though. We just needed to do one exam and then we already knew what was going on. So Shashka is cured and that's gonna be our last patient of the day. So once we get paid, I'll close up shop and then we'll let Teddy do whatever Teddy wants to do for a little bit. Okay, so. We served four customers. We were open 10 hours and we made 500 simoleons, which is not bad at all. They don't like our quality of service and they don't like our ambiance, which the ambiance, let's be honest, that's fair. <laughs> our wait time is excellent though. So that's good at least. And then for quality of service, they're saying try increasing the quality of your supplies or administering more accurate treatments, which our treatments were accurate. So I think we just need better quality things like this thing is kind of disgusting. So they probably want that to be replaced. I would like to get Teddy a computer so she can get her fun neat up. And I think it would make sense to just plop one right here on this counter space. We do need to get a stool first though. We'll get this one from Four Rink. We can't afford any computers yet. We might have to travel off lot for her fun need, or we might can get like a little bookshelf or something. I would like that to go upstairs though. So maybe I'll plop this down right here and we can get like a little entry table. Maybe Teddy can read or something like that, at least until we can buy something better. Oh, or a TV. No, forget the books. We need a TV. We can plop a TV on top of that. We'll get the penguin TV. <laughs> Teddy likes animals. I mean, maybe she's into it. And that's nice because we're already able to up our house a little bit after just one day of veterinarian work. So this is already looking way more promising than the residential rental let's play that we did. Trying to play as a landlord on starter funds because that was kind of terrible. <laughs> I wonder how you stock this. Oh, you know what? This vending machine doesn't actually do us any good until she can craft some of the stuff. So maybe we go ahead and get that crafting machine because we can't even put them in the vending machine until after we craft some stuff. So the vending machine's just empty. We can have her start working on crafting some things. I didn't even realize that that was the case. So that was silly of me. I guess let's have Teddy go ahead and go to sleep and then we can do all that tomorrow. 
All right, all of Teddy's needs are good except for her social. So we're just gonna open the clinic and then hopefully we'll be able to chit chat with some clients and maybe get that social need up for her. But we are open for business now, so we are just waiting for some people to come in. The weather is really bad today, so I don't know if that's gonna affect our business or not. And while we're doing the vet clinic, we can also start working on the friend of the animals aspiration so we can be friendly while we are being a vet. I would eventually like to get Teddy a pet as well, but I don't feel comfortable bringing a pet into our fundless household. So <laughs> we will wait until we actually see if we can make some money or not. This pop-up seems to be kind of the same thing on repeat. So I will not bother you with reading that. And Teddy is focused. So maybe the storm won't throw us off too much because she's also scared, but mostly focused. So we'll take it. Alrighty, we've got his diagnosis and that is our first patient of the day done and it's only been like an hour since we've been open. So that's not too bad. We got level four of the veterinarian skill. I'm gonna try to have her just talk to this person for just a minute because her social needs are really bad. Okay, well that's helping some. Okay, so we'll let them go ahead and go. Hopefully our next patient will be coming in soon. Uh-oh, okay, two patients in a row. Let's maybe pause it after that because I don't want people to have to wait too long. So I'm gonna try to move this along. Let's greet this patient really quickly. And then we will get him straight onto the exam table. We've got Cleo on our table now. Okay, we got our diagnosis pretty quick, which is good. So let's go ahead and get that treatment done. And then we can get our next patient on the table as quickly as possible. Now let Teddy just mop that puddle that's in there so it's not super gross for our next patient. Needs are still looking pretty good for Teddy. No, wh why are you running out? Teddy, stop, oh my God. You need to come agree your patient. They're gonna say our wait time was too long. Okay, I think she's back. And I will allow new patients again. All right, Bartholomew, not loving it. So let's start by calming him, I guess. And it's looking like he's got that same freeze fur as that other animal had had. So hopefully we can diagnose him pretty quickly. Oh, that is a big fluffy dog coming in. I do love the world of Brindleton Bay, but I swear it rains all the time here. Okay, we have got ourselves a diagnosis and Bartholomew is treated, perfect. We made 125 simoleons on that, so let's go greet our next patient and keep this rolling. No, get Bartholomew off my table right now. Your exam is over, sir. Her social's still bad. I'm not doing a very good job at fixing that, am I? They're coming in too fast now. I just have to get them examined. <laughs> All right, this one's name is Sandy. So I guess let's get Sandy on the table. All right, we got another one diagnosed and another one treated. <laughs> um, this guy's animal somewhere, but I don't, oh, I guess I'll click greet patient on him. I normally do on the animal. I didn't even know I could click it on him. Oh, there's his pet. Oh, wait, that one's a cute dog. This is Doodle. And I'm gonna go ahead and disallow new patients and the dog that's in here will be our last one of the day. Not the one on our table, the one on the couch. We diagnosed him super fast, that's nice. Oh, our rating increased, that's good. Okay, let's not mop puddles outside, that's so silly. Oh my God, she's doing that thing again where she keeps running outside when she's trying to run away. We need to greet the patient, please. You've run inside now. Oh my God. This messes up my rating, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, we're gonna reset. Where did she go? Teddy just disappeared. Okay, we're gonna have her go here and then greet patient. Be so for real right now, Teddy, stop it. Oh, I think we're just doing a checkup on this pet. So he's good, we're just, we're just giving a look at him. So he is healthy, perfect. So just a preventative shot. Okay, I didn't even know you could do that. Thought they all came in sick. And we reached level five of the veterinarian skill. And his checkup is complete. And that is the end of our workday now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up shop. Although I didn't let him pay me first. Did I just lose that money? I might have. Okay, either way though, we made 625 today. I might have messed that up. Okay, well, I know better next time. And we've got some vet perk points. So maybe let's get one of those. I say let's start with patient patience. I don't think patience is what we have too much of a problem with, but it would be nice for me to not have to keep disallowing customers when it starts to get busy. I guess I'll go ahead and unlock an employee for us. And it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and have the quality vet supplies, I don't guess. 
I mean, we could save for some of these other things. I just don't know if I'm going to play this that long, if I'm being completely honest. Because at this very moment, we don't have any employees. I guess we could get one. I just, we only have one station, so it really doesn't make any sense to get one. I would almost rather upgrade the station that we have before we bought a new station altogether. I feel like the simoleons to craft stuff for our vet office should come from the vet office, but apparently the Sims disagrees. So I'm gonna just transfer some money over to us. That way she can craft some wellness treats. We don't have a vending machine, so it's not super helpful to have these yet, but I want her to go ahead and kind of start working on it. That way when we do have the vending machine, she can start selling them immediately. And hopefully the weather's better tomorrow. Although we have got some gems from a lightning strike, it looks like. Um, maybe we sell those. What do those sell for, I wonder? Okay, we got 450 simoleons from those from the lightning strike. So hold on, first things first, let's get a computer. I feel like we really need one for Teddy's sake. Oh, we still can't afford one. How can we not? Oh, maybe because I, it's because I need to transfer these funds. Okay, oops, that was my fault. The fun transferring is getting a little hard to keep up with. <laughs> now we should be able to buy a computer. I'm gonna just get the cheapest one. First things first, I'm gonna be locking this computer for everyone except for Teddy, because I don't need people getting on that constantly. And then as soon as Teddy's done sleeping, we'll have her come work on her fun and her social need, because she needs it so bad. Is that a vampire? What? What is Vlad doing here? Excuse me, sir. First of all, you need a bath. Did Vlad get struck by lightning? <laughs> oh, they, they put earbuds in our inventory. We can sell those, yay. I'll take any money I can get. Oh, we could also sell our vet treat that we made. Maybe we do that, we can always make more. Okay, so let's transfer those funds over to our business and see what we've got then. Okay, so we've got 703 simoleons now in our business and Teddy is not doing so hot at the moment, so hopefully we can get open soon. It's honestly only 7.30, so even if we open it like non, I think that's plenty of time to have a full vet day. Right, and we have our first customer of the day. Oh, and we have another person right behind him. This dog's throwing up all over the place. That's not great. <laughs> I am gonna disallow again. I know we have the patient patients, but I would rather not have more than one backed up at a time right now since it's just Teddy. And since we're gonna definitely need to clean up after this dog, cause he is throwing up everywhere. This is Doc, we literally had him as a patient, as our first patient, if I'm not mistaken. This dog is not doing okay. Oh, buddy, okay. We have got to get to our next patient right now. I don't know why they keep getting back on the table like that. It's a little annoying though. Okay, we can't even allow patients back until I can get all this vomit cleaned up. This is bad. I can't let another person in with the floor looking like this. We had to close for cleanup because ugh, it's everywhere. And he's already given us a lower review, which is a bit of a bummer, but I mean, he's gonna say the place was gross, but it was his dog's fault. We're just giving him a preventative shot and that just doesn't feel right to me. I'm gonna have Teddy, oh my God, why does it keep doing that? Stop. We already examined him. She just got a neat personality trait add on. <laughs> oh no, okay, we've got two patients and she still has not finished cleaning up all this vomit. And she really has to go to the bathroom. It's 3 a.m., when did that happen? That doesn't seem right, I'm gonna have to watch that back. No, I'm sorry, we have to close. I feel bad, but we can't take those patients right now. Teddy's not doing very well, so I'm sorry, pets. I felt really bad about that actually. I should have never allowed patients back. I did not realize what time it was. Okay, I'm thinking Teddy's gonna end up having to take Wednesday off today because we've gotta get ourselves back on track from whatever happened yesterday. I don't know how we managed to be up until 3 a.m without eating or anything. We're just gonna skip through this day, really. So I had to leave and come back, so if I or the lighting look a little bit different, that is why, but let's get back into our Let's Play. I sped through the day, so it is now Thursday at 8 a.m., and I think what we're gonna do is, Teddy's needs are looking pretty good, so we're gonna go ahead and open up shop, but I wanna hire an employee first, and while we have an employee take care of the pets, we're gonna have Teddy start working on crafting some things, 
because we can sell that for extra money. So let's go into manage employees and see who we can find to hire. I feel like it would make the most sense to hire Supriya because she is the only one with level four vet skill. So let's go with her and then we are gonna open up shop. I'm also gonna transfer out a hundred simoleons to our household funds. That way Teddy can start working on crafting wellness treats. Oh, she can craft more now. Okay, well let's start with a wellness treat and then we'll go from there. This weather here is really starting to get old. Oh, but look, we have another crystal. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, that's 192 simoleons. Wait, that's so good. Okay, we've already got a wait happening, so I am gonna disallow new customers. I just don't want our new vet to get behind, and I feel like she's going to, and Teddy, for whatever reason, is not moving. So I'm resetting her and trying that again. Do we have to direct her, or will she just do it? Okay, manage. Oh, we can ask her to craft. Maybe we get her to craft and we let Teddy do the vet stuff? Hmm. I think she's supposed to treat the patients by herself though. Let's just put it on one time speed and see. I'm so sorry if you hear my dogs, by the way. They're not being very cooperative with me today. We just got a new kitten in my here household, which is one of the reasons we're playing with the vet pack. But the kitten is in the room over there and they have slowly started to notice him. So it is starting to be... I wouldn't say a problem, but they're getting a little more antsy about it. She's not doing anything, so let's have Teddy tell her to craft, and then we will work on the patients. I don't know who is here first, but I feel like patients are our number one priority at this point. Oh my god, it's being so buggy right now. Okay, well then greet this guy. I hate the weather here. It's making everything so hard. I almost want to cheat this away. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna play fair. Okay, so we have our employee crafting and we are doing the exam. Oh, this is Shashka. Hopefully I'm saying that right. All right, we have Shashka treated. Oh, and I think she might be greeting this next patient, possibly. I really don't know what she's doing. Maybe an employee was a bad idea. Okay, what we'll do is ask her to craft something else. And then we'll talk to this guy to get him treated. Okay, and this dog, Sandy, just needed a preventative shot. So I guess I will allow patients back. And then I was thinking about it. I need to allow access to my employees up here in case she needs to use the bathroom or something. So she's running upstairs now. Is she going to my bed? No, she's not. Yep, yep, she is. Okay, well, maybe a useless employee. I think she's hiding under the cover. She's probably scared. Let's pay for training for this employee. I think it would benefit us. She's not really doing much of anything right now, and that's not a super helpful. Oh, and it looks like we have a, another patient. They're literally going all the way upstairs for her to tell her that she's going to pay for her training. Like, why? <laughs> okay, well, she said thank you, and she's going to go after her shift, so that's fine. And then let's greet this. I don't have a patient. This is being very glitchy. I don't know what's going on, like if it's something that I have set up or something else. It still won't let me greet. This patient was taken care of, was he not? Maybe I need to reset this guy. Maybe I need to reset his dog. Uh. Okay, let's try now, because this person is getting upset about wait times. But I don't have anyone I'm examining. It said begin exam on Sandy but I already examined Sandy. Oh, I have to calm her first. I didn't treat Sandy. Oh no. Okay, now we can treat Sandy. That was my bad. I need to greet the patient, but it won't let me begin examining. All right, Bartholomew is treated, and then this guy is gonna be our last patient of the day, so we are gonna go ahead and go with him. Now, the good thing is our employee is at least greeting the patient. She's not going out of her way to do the exams, but she is greeting them at the very least. Okay, and this little dog is gonna be our last patient of the day. Oh, what happened? Um, it's bugging out so bad right now. I might have to load out and come back in. Oh my God, what is it doing? <laughs> okay, I reset Teddy, maybe that will fix it. Maybe it's because of our employee. I wonder if we could get her to like clean. Okay, let's say don't treat patients. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, she is finally doing what she needs to do for him. Apparently the surroundings are dirty though and she's not cleaning and there's no way to tell her to clean. Oh, maybe she's going now. Oh, I don't know where she's going. Okay, well, I guess that's not my problem. 
Okay, apparently our employee is getting tired, so we were about to close anyways, but if we weren't, we definitely have to now. I have to wait until we get paid first, though. I made that mistake before, so I won't do that again. Okay, perfect, and then uh, let's close it up. We made 590 simoleons today, which is not that bad. They still want our quality of service and ambiance to be better, but they feel like the value of service is good. I guess maybe I can mark up more on my prices. I haven't even messed with any of that. Maybe we just go to 150. Oh, and Teddy reached level skill six, so that's good. And we are done for the day. On the bright side, it's not supposed to be thunderstorming in the morning, so I will take that. We did get this from the lightning strike, so I am gonna sell that for 175 simoleons, and we might actually be able to upgrade our vet station quickly before tomorrow. I'm gonna start by transferring our household funds to our vet clinic. Oh, we can afford a few things. We could get a vending machine, or we can get another vet station. Maybe we get another vet station because then our employee can take patients in here. Okay, well, if we go that route, why don't we get another employee? An employee for like cleanup and greeting patients. So maybe we'll get, mm, her charisma is very high. So maybe let's get her, May. She's the principal or is supposed to be. So we can set her to clean up and like greet patients and maybe craft some of the things and we'll set her up to take patients. All right, it is almost 10 a.m. So I say, let's just go ahead and open up shop. First things at first, we need to get our employee set up right. So we need to set May to not take patients. So don't treat patients. And then we can maybe ask her to just craft something to get started. And then this employee over here, we will manage to don't clean and then treat patients. So hopefully she'll start doing that. I wish you could like assign a table, be like, okay, you're gonna work on this table, I'm gonna work on this table, but I don't think you can do that. But we've got our first patient in, it is this lady again, Katarina, she's here all the time. So we will get started with her. And I'll take this new station that we just got. Where did our other employee go? Ma'am, I need you to do your job. Maybe we should try to criticize her. If she doesn't come take this other patient before I'm done with this first one, we are gonna come criticize her actually. But uh, let's take care of our patient first. Cause we have four people here. Okay, so I'm gonna disallow new customers cause at this point I'm not getting any help from my other employee. Maybe I need to uh, lock that door for employees cause that's a little annoying. Maybe I can just get a little bathroom downstairs or something. We would probably fit one in, okay. I don't know what she's doing. We've got this pet treated and then I am actually gonna criticize her cause she has not done anything yet today. And then after that, we will take our next patient. So I'll do this guy over here. It keeps trying to put the animal back up on the table and it is getting a little annoying. Okay, we are criticizing her. So hopefully she'll take a patient. Otherwise, like what's the point of having the employees? I think she might be taking a patient now. Okay, hopefully. She is, so the criticizing worked. But now that she's taking patients, let's go ahead and allow new customers back because if we've got two employees, we need to see more patients. That's like kind of the whole thing, you know? May's doing a good job cleaning at the very least, so that's been worth it to have, I think. We've got ours treated and I'm assuming she just got hers treated as well. So that is good. And we've only got one new patient since then. So we just got paid from those and we're getting more money now. So that's also nice. And it looks like she's gonna take over this patient. And if that's the case, I'm gonna just let her. I am gonna praise May cause I feel like she's been doing a very good job. Why is she brushing this dog? I need you to take the patient. Okay, well, apparently she's not take, taking this patient, so I guess I'm gonna. Maybe she'll take the next one. Because <laughs> this lady just went down to two stars because we were taking too long. Where's the dog? Oh, there he is. Lady, I need you to do your job. Okay, ooh, we gotta disallow. <laughs> too many people. Ma'am, look, there's two patients. Pick one. Take a patient. Maybe if I reset her, maybe she just needs to be reset. Okay, I think she's taking another one now. All right, we've got this one treated and then she did finally take another one over here. So that's good at least. And we are on to our next patient. And I think that's gonna be the last one of this day. I don't wanna overwork my employees again. I'd like to keep them happy. She just finished hers over here and then I'm finishing mine up over here. So I think that's gonna be our last patient. So that's gonna be our last patients of the day and then we can kind of go over our funds. 
I think this is an excellent way to make money actually, especially if you wanted to play with a lot of animals and whatnot. Now we are playing like a lot as the vet. Oh, and our rating just increased, yay. Okay, so that is it and we're gonna close up. But today we made a 1,362 simoleons and that is with paying our employees and everything too. They're both fine and neutral. I do think we need to try to get some better supplies because we are using kind of the crappy version of everything, but we might have enough funds to do so now. So let's see if maybe we can replace one of the beds. Okay, we can, sweet. So we have a one good bed now, one bad bed. But I do feel like this is an excellent way to make money because you can grow it so much. Like we kind of started out with a really shabby place and within only like five-ish days, we've already upgraded it so much. I would like to see what would maybe happen if we ran the shop off a lot. But I'm gonna speed through the night and we will try that in the morning to see if we can actually make money without even working as the vet. It is 8 a.m. the next day. I'm having, oh, it is neighborhood brawl day. I've got to turn that off. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm going to have Teddy go over to this park right here, and then we are going to open our vet clinic while we're off a lot. So Teddy's going to work on her aspiration, and then we are going to let our employees run the vet clinic, and we will see how it goes. But for Teddy's aspiration, she wants to be friendly with a cat or dog 12 times, and what better place than the cat and dog park? Oh, and I'm turning off Neighborhood Brawl just because I don't want to deal with that. So this adorable little pug is over here. Look at him. So cute. But we're letting Teddy be nice to him and play with him some until some other animals start showing up. Okay, well, the pug left me, so we're coming over to this very fluffy dog right here. <laughs> oh, this is Sandy. We've treated Sandy before. I really thought that there would be more animals here because the animals keep leaving us. There's like no pets here. <laughs> There's not any pets at all here. Where are the pets? Um, Aren't there like a bunch of stray cats over by like the dock area? Maybe we'll go down there. Uh, I'm kind of keeping this page open and maybe it just won't refresh until I close it. But so far they've not made any money <laughs> at our vet clinic today. So I'm a little concerned about that, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. I am currently on the lookout for any stray cats. Okay, well, fun fact, in my search for cats, I found this wedding arch out here that I had never noticed before. And that's actually a really pretty spot to get married. That's like behind this lounge right here. Okay, well, didn't know that that existed. Oh, oh, I found a cat, I found a cat. This is Jill. Jill kind of looks like a leopard. Look at how cute. Wait, Jill's adorable. Maybe we can befriend and adopt Jill. Oh, Jill just wants some attention. That makes me sad. Oh, Jill, don't leave. Wait, Jill. I don't want to chat with Hillary. I want to chat with Jill. Oh, wait, another kitty. Its name's going to be Jack, isn't it? Oh, no, Emma, that would have been funny. Missed opportunity. <laughs> hey, Teddy, come talk to Jill. Oh, man. Okay, well, we reached that part, so if maybe Jill will let us adopt her, then we can complete that part of the aspiration. Jill, don't leave. Let me adopt you. Our friendship bar is pretty hot. I think she would let us. Yay! Okay, so we just adopted Jill. I'll leave her name. I think it's cute enough. Stop it. I love cats and dogs. <laughs> um, excuse me. This counts. I'm sorry, I'm cheating that. That counts. Okay, why don't we close up the vet today and see if they made any money without us there. Oh, they did. Our rating did go down though, <laughs> but we did make money. I'll take it, honestly. That's not bad. Okay, so let's just travel back to our lot with little Jill. Okay, but on that note, I'm gonna say you can successfully run a vet clinic on starter funds. You could upgrade this as much as you wanted to. I mean, obviously you're gonna have to do a good chunk of gameplay because you do have to put in work as a vet. If you're not here, you might make money, but your ratings are probably not gonna be that great. But we got everything that we would even need to take care of Jill, and we even got to upgrade this, and we added this in. So I think if we kept going, we could even add some more stuff. Oh, we can actually get a vending machine now, so we can even plop that in. Now we've gotten three new vet equipments. We upgraded this table, and we got everything that we would have needed for our pet cat. So I'm gonna say you can absolutely run a vet successfully on starter funds. This went 
way better than the residential rental let's play. So if you're looking for an active career that you can do right off the bat, I would definitely say give playing as a vet a try. But let me guys know what you think of this let's play. Do you want to see more like this? Should we try to run a restaurant or a retail store next? Drop your ideas in the comments below for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!